popzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're looking at another bottle of beer sent to me by the good man Jens, king of the beer mail. It is a bottle of beer from the De Moen Brewery in Bodegraven in the Netherlands and it is the Lari und Ipokul. It's a barrel aged imperial stout. It's actually a blend of two of their beers. Um, the, the, I mean, I've, I've been looking into it because I think, well, I want to know how to pronounce the, the name, Larry and Apple Cool, um, which essentially means like poppycock, just kind of nonsense, nonsense and something, but yeah, essentially the Google translation is pop, uh, poppycock. Um, this is actually a blend of two of their uh, beers, um, their Imperial Stout Helen uh, Verdemins, and Verdemins, that's it. And uh, which is an imperial stout, and then a smoked imperial stout called uh, Himmel and Arden, which is um, so it's hell and damnation and and kind of sky and earth or something like that. So a combination of them. It's easy to barrel aged beer. I cannot find anywhere, even on the De Molen's official website, to say what type of it. So it's got wax seal, seal, green wax, dark green wax seal on it. So I'm just breaking off that seal. Yeah, I couldn't even find out on the Dumoulin web shop what kind of barrel was used in the brewing of this beer. Slight amount of um, hiss there. These beers often are flat as a pancake, to be honest. But let's hope for the best. That's even a, uh, just a wisp of carbonation would be nice. Yeah, that's looking pretty flat. I mean, a lot of, often barrel aged beers, they are flat anyway. Uh, but if you, you you often have to reseed them before bottling, so in order to give them a bit of life. But a little bit of head there, just as you can see, is a pod. Take it, appreciate it while you can. Beer in the glass, absolutely black as night, like a shiny piece of coal. The head, just a thin film of kind of mid, um, kind of mocha. So let's check out the aroma. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, beautiful. It's got a kind of a, a, a hint of kind of red wine. It's got a definitely a smoky edge, but this time it's not really a kind of like a a, a, a Rausch beer kind of smoky malt. It's like a sweet kind of um, sweet kind of smoked wood. Oh, big coffee there though. Plums, damsons. Kind of like the coffee is really kind of like a harsh dark roast, loads of dark chocolate, really high percentage cocoa chocolates. Yeah, like hundred percent cacao. Yeah, um, th there is a carbon note which makes me think. Yeah, I said it looked like coal. It does have that kind of like charcoal smell. Oh, that smells beautiful. Though. I wonder what barrel it in. It might, might be just in oak, kind of a demon do do put their stuff in. Just in oak in general. See, it doesn't mention on there. If it were bourbon or something, they'd probably mention it. But let's have a taste and see if I can pick out if, what barrel it was in. Anyway, so cheers. Thanks, Jens. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's beautiful. I was just my, I was just thinking then, what barrel is it? It might be bourbon. It might be a bourbon or, or or just French oak. Mm. It's not massively full bodied. It's a good amount. Bottom end of full. There is a, there is a bit of carbonation. Thank goodness. Hmm. I can tell you how strong it is. What an idiot. 11%. Very respectable. I mean, it's only a small bowl. Mm. So, as far as flavours go, it's a big kind of licorice licorice like flavour. There's a, there's a charred kind of burnt note in there. Yeah, kind of cola like. There is a kind of like a really harsh restresso coffee, kind of a burn harsh coffee. And that damn malt's bringing a big 
kind of bitterness. There is a su sweetness in there, and this is what I think making me think is it bourbon because but there's no booziness from that. So it might be the French oak, which is bringing a nice amount of kind of vanilla. Mm. Sticky on the lips. Yeah, licorice without doubt. Real intense uh, kind of dark chocolate. There is a tang in there, probably from those dark hops. I mean, dark hops. Those dark malts, maybe the hops. It is hopped with and Slanic and Sartes. Yeah. Or, and Premiant. They're, they, they're often the hops that you'll find in a lot of the modern beers. Especially ones where the, it's either all about the, about the malt or a barrel or about the yeast. This one's obviously about the barrel and the, um, and the two blended beers. The smoke. It's quite a. It's a. It is like a like a burnt wood. It's not a kind of like a meaty kind of like smoked meat thing. It's more of like a, literally a burnt wood. Mm. That's lovely. That's lovely. Ends with a nice tang of kind of dark malt bitterness. So that is a bottle of Larry and Apple Cool barrel aged version of two blended imperial stouts from uh, the De Merlin Brewery in Bodo Graben. It's a smoked imperial stout, they call it on the ball. And very nice indeed. It's a beautiful balance of, of dark malts, beautiful defined flavours, a welcome amount of kind of warming alcohol in the back of the throat and a lovely uh, amount of smoke. Just perfect balance, really nice. And thankfully a De Merlin beer with a bit of carbonation. You can't go wrong. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. See you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.